Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Bing bing. Dun 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 dun. dun Welcome back, dun. everyone. Assuming you actually had to go anywhere, this is Assassin's Creed Three. I am the centipede. I am Skolapendra. We have killed Charles Lee. We have been. We are done with Connor. We cannot go back into the am and animus. We have the amulet. We have the key to open this door, but we haven't. Um, we haven't plugged in the power sources because we haven't known where the power sources go. Maybe they go in there. I don't know. You don't know. No one knows. Um. Once again, they're pretending he has a hidden blade that he does not have. Excellent game design. You were able to avoid that mistake previously. Come on, Desmond. In you go. In I go where? Huh? I'm just going to assume that it doesn't mean anything, so we'll go over here and... We'll have plenty of time to talk when this is all over. We should focus on our work now. So we've got to find pedestals and put in the power sources, I guess? I... Can't get in the Animus, so... Yeah, we should probably get back to work. Uh, oh, you guys. Useless. Why are you so useless? Well, I um, guess we're going to run around together. Find out where we power these things. It's not in here. Uh... Is it over? It's not that. Then again, I've had difficulty finding the power source uh, where the power sources go into previously. Uh, did not come with an owner's manual. That uh, doesn't do anything. And I know you've all seen this, so have I. I don't know where it is. We're supposed to find it. Exploration, yay! Except I recognized it. Oh, hello. Well, it's not been allowed to go up here before, because you know I've tried. So, let's go this way, up to an. Another level. Hey! I made progress. Hello, son. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. For with our laser pistols. But these were small and simple things. Look, if we you've got this sort of technology, you've got starships. Build a generation ship. The Get the hell out. So. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared, but it was time we did not have, so we moved on. So you should have built a starship. I mean, you've already got fuel technology, and you can deal with plasma. Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. Nom 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 nom. Needlessly complex systems, okay. Okay, we made that progress. Hooray. 
I guess that's that section. Whoa! Oh, no, oh, up there, moron! Whee! Boink! Boink! Now we go over here! At least we've made some progress, Pete. Whoa! What is a fact? Is it fixed? Immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Oh, are you talking about probability or might again? It be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined what? became a So it's orc technology. Away a wall or create a tree. What might a thousand do? Ten thousand more. Oh, it hurts. It hurts my might butt. Change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. I... We would save That's the world. That's kind of a much more general concept than... But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control. So basically you're the worse at space travel than we are. World. To speak the words. But what? Huh? This was strange and dangerous. What we tried next was worse. A, so you're completely inept is what you're saying. You have a thing that automatically controls minds without necessarily a language barrier acting. And you couldn't use it to get the psychic potential of your entire freaking species. Okay, I want everyone in this room to die. I want... Actually, I kind of want this world to die. You know, let's not save it. Let it happen. Let everyone fry. to travel back to change the past but we could not find a way and there is that thing about knowing the forward. future again and destroying free we will look forward and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves uh, no no you you've just completely look you've already said that First you can change we to learn if our work would succeed but the answer was always the same so we moved on to other things but she remained the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes wait, wait, that you oh. might be saved. You know what this is? She this is Arion. This is the final experiment. Safe for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Well, wait, she hid the message, so she didn't actually talk through time. I'm tired of it. Cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want. But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two year old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. Oh, come on. That's just lame storytelling. Children, you know. Killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. <sighs> I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. The player character, well, the player behind to. the screen. I chose to. Desmond, no, you didn't. Lucy was oh. going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then. It failed. 
Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. But again, because this... Actually, I would almost say if I trusted them, this would become a commentary on free will because none of these characters actually have it because you have to do this particular thing in order to make the plot go, you know, to actually finish the game. So you know what? I could choose not to finish this game. I could choose just to wander off and go play something fun and... Like System Shock or something that isn't insulting my intelligence. Whee, hoop -a -doo, hoop -a -doo. I don't know where I'm going. I know where I kind of want to go, but hey. So, you know, I mean, if I trusted them to actually make an artistic statement, I could almost buy it, but I don't. Now maybe they have evolved, to, well, Okay, yeah, that's where we ended up, so that's not the right way. Uh, maybe they have evolved in their understanding, so... You know, they've now thought of it, and they're now doing it, which I guess is worth something, I suppose. But, uh... Yeah, all right, let's just get this done. We need to get up there somehow. And we're back here. Yep. Exciting. Don't you know it? Well, maybe I'm supposed to go up here, then go up that first sawtooth, but not, or pardon, down that first sawtooth, but not the second. I'm supposed to go here, and oh, fuck you, fuck you, game, so hard, right in your stupid eye. Ugh. Up some more! Over, and then... Hands off the controls! Come on. Okay, now... Go over here. Now we climb up this. Because we can't climb up that. Why? I mean... Uh... I mean, we're the freaking Monkey King. We may as well be able to <sighs> put all these cracks in that we've already demonstrated that the character can probably climb them, thanks to Connor. That's the entire point. Uh, we can. Great. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe it's not so much a jumping puzzle. Okay, it's new. Anger rising. Like, why save the world? It's also, look, I mean... Pitons, anything would do, I guess. Move yourself sideways, squeeze in through there, but you can't because it's not how the game works. Oh! Rage! Rage and anger and fury! Impotent rage and anger and fury, mind you, but rage! Uh. And we're back here, and we can't climb that because it's the wrong way, and I understand that. I can grasp that. Why not any of this other... why? There is no god. God is dead. And it is the ancients who killed him. 
I don't know. Alright, that's how we got up here in the first place, because we came up these stairs from over there where we saw the last vision. Now, heck, I could even accept if... Alright, so what did I just do there? I just dumped myself down here, so I have to go back up. I'm... Oh... Why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening to me? Because I'm playing this game. That's a dumb question. How do I get over there? Do I get there from here? Is there another way? I don't know. It would seem logical in a very, you know, in a relatively linear game that this would be the way to do it, but it's not. Maybe there's a way up a level, cause there's stuff up there. No! Okay. Yeah, see? Cause it's on the other end of all that broken stuff. See that broken stuff? is, you know, acknowledge... Blah, blah, blah. analogous to that. I mean, no one fought the grappling hook. A grappling hook. Just a normal grappling hook would be super useful. And can't grab that. Um... Oh, fuck you again, game. It's like, we want to get up there somehow. Uh, maybe we do it through here. Yay! We have to go to the ground floor to get to the top floor. But we found the way. We found it. We're there. We have to be careful, but we have to do it anyway. What stories the temple will tell me today? Well, that's two out of three. Yep. Next one. You guys are in for the long haul. I'm in for the long haul. Windows Movie Maker will probably explode multiple times trying to get this all done. So I hope everybody is happy. So I might have to split it up into multiple episodes anyway because... Yay! You die, Desmond. You suck. Whoa! -ho -ho! Well, um, well, at least we discovered this wonderful glitch. And this is what happens when you don't put a bottom in your world, people. If you put a bottomless pit, but you don't have a place where you die, or if you put a hole in there. I'm going to consider this the canon ending. Uh-huh. Let's see what they mean by unsaved progress. Only 78%. I don't want... Uh -huh. All right, time to see what's inside. Not quite. Oh. We still need to get the place powered up. Find the remaining pedestals and plug in the power sources. I'm on it. Oh. Yeah, I guess we have to start from scratch. Because let's see. Now then there should be a door here. Okay, cool. There's a door there. Oh, but this thing I think is opening up. So I guess I have to redo that part. Let's see. 
Alright, so we got to that part. Alright. And right over there is where we got out, where we bit it. Ooh, we almost died again because, oh, actually, it's right there. Okay, now we climb up, back up, back up, and over, and that should be activated. And nope, it's not, but we know how to get there. It's relatively easy. Let's know the trick. So, over. This way, and down, and Oh, no, no, not that side down. This side down. Well, I guess we get the bottom floor either way. It doesn't really matter. And past this thing, past it. Through here, round up, round up, and up. And through here, round up, and through here. Um, can we skip the sun please? No, we cannot. Ah, oh, sounding cheery, but signifying nothing. Okay, so over there. Uh, yeah, between those things. Go up here, and we'll go over here. So... I already know that they... I almost did it again. And we know that they're sending messages forward in time to be found. They're not actually transmitted. They're like time capsules. So yeah, free will is still dead. Just as it always has been. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics? Or hibernation? I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. And here's the thing, right? Why I don't buy the key. Oh, the will of the gods is unknowable. They're... They're... De their will, in this case, is, by its very nature, survival. They, they can communicate that. And they can communicate, we need you to do X, Y, and Z for us to get this done. I mean, speaking riddles and tongues to be misunderstood, that's just bad writing. Or they're just completely inept. approached, one that was dark and cold. It would consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In and the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But there wasn't one. Not for him. Not for us. And so, you know, we ended him with a knife. Because... Um... Dumb. Yeah, actually exactly that. Because dumb. We are totally dumb. It's not the gods must be crazy, the gods must be fucking morons. Ugh. Hurts my brain. Not in a good brain hurty way either, it's a very bad brain hurty way. Jumping puzzle. 
You know what I said about the ending not being like Assassin's Creed 2, just doing the same thing over and over and over? I lied, apparently. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body, a vessel to hold these sparks. Well, there's probably some biochemistry to go involved there as well. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. And, you know, there's the whole emergent principle thing, but yeah, I can see they're, they're talking about uploading. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? something wrong. Basically, you just... you body snatching. We couldn't... Cr no, well, we have all this extra technology, but we can't make robots. So no robot avatars. Right, I want to head this way, but huh? all right. I guess this is where I want to be. Hooray! Interesting speaker grill. Wait, wait, where's that sliding from? Unless that sheath is like a millimeter thick. If you remember from many videos back, me bouncing around back there, well... Alright, so it looks like we've done all the things. So now we've got to open the door. And with that, I'm going to trim this here. See you on the flip side. Welcome back, everybody. This is Assassin's Creed 3. I'm Skolopendra. That right there is Sean. I've put in all the power supplies. Now let's open the door. The derp? Um. Okay, all the power supplies are in. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, are you bitch? No. Oh. Guess this is it. I was right behind you. I was gonna do. Ah. Really good planning, guys. No indication of yeah, maybe. Well, let's meet up back. You know, back up at the animus. Like, no, I'm just gonna open the door. Still 20% of the game left. Don't like that. Moment of truth. Just come on. Come on, time's wasting. We're all getting old here. Life bleeding away, moment by moment, drop by drop. Get on with it. Well, we're only about 80% through, so this is not the end.
Alright, well, let's have another walking forward simulator, please. And the camera gets weird. Yes. Come. Kinky. That's dirty. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. Did, did her voice suddenly get more ethnic, or did I miss something? Save the world. She sought instead to conquer it. She used our machine to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the... Oh, uh, well, good job. There is no free will. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began Wait, to- Wait, what? You've got a freaking time! You, you can predict what happens before what happens. How do you get blindsided by that? The, God damn it! Be consistent! Still, death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries. And so you have lost your chance. Hooray! Hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. <laughs> if you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not involve the with world. With two breeding couples? You will become well. a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory. A legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well, and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? <sighs> she would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? <laughs> what future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? 
This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all return. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen Good. in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Almost at 78% is actually the synchronization rate. Yep. Dramatic music. And he is the messiah. He died to save our sins. Or whatever. Really. Uh, but they're not even consistent. It's like, how did you st Oh, we have a thing that sees through time. How do we... And he's body snatched. Yay! He's dead! <laughs> Hooray! It's some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being We beat it! Hooray! Geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest on record. Satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it'll be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. And I, w I, for one, welcome our AI overlords. Because, let's face it, freedom is worth a whole lot unless you're dead. I mean, come on, that's the, that's the purest libertarian form of freedom. It's the freedom for you to starve. Ugh. Like, so they have equations that can foretell the future, but... They can't predict... Um... It's a hole in the equation... Uh, it's just... This thing is so full of plot holes. It's not even consistent. But, on the other hand, I did not rage ne you know, nearly as badly with the end of this one as I did with Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's Creed 1, it pissed me off that it wasn't... You know, Obviously, no, this doesn't have an ending, so they can make a fourth one, which has been announced, and they're going to do, and it's going to have pirates, because people like the naval mechanic, apparently. But, uh, man. Yeah, I'm sitting through the credits, because... It's what I traditionally do after games, and you're gonna sit through them too if you want. You can always you're free to turn off things, and I mean, come on, it is a game about free will. It's a scripted game about free will. It pretty much, it's all they can can they. It's all they can really do. Because let's face it, in proper free will, you have the you know, Desmond could just walk out and get drunk and the world could burn and effectively, you know, freedom is saved. Yeah.
And of course, no mention of the fact that, oh yeah, we did kind of, like, mind rape everyone. Yeah, well, I say everyone, but the, the people in Abstergo, and that's not a problem. Survival forgives many sins. And Desmond is dead! Hooray! Although, maybe he just got body jacked or something, but who cares? The, the entity known as Dipshit is no more. Huzzah! This is all your fault, Vincent Legault. All of it. Online Q, uh, quality control development tester. Gobail, you, you fucked up. You let this shit out of the door. Screenshot artist. Adam Steves, uh, you just took pictures. Good job. Um, yeah, down to the Memus T3K make fun of names thing. Security. Security analyst? Oh, that must be for, like, the online game. That would make sense. Ubisoft Annecy. Is that like an annex? Maybe it's French for annex. I don't know. Hey, trainee getting into credits. Good job, man. Um, engine programmers. Game programmers. Character programmers. So we can blame some of these people for those character programming glitches. Technical architect. Yep. Tools. Huh. Character artists. Everyone gets scars. Everyone. Normal artists. Rough man. What? What the hell is a rough man? Yeah, well. So, we know that they're sticking with we can predict the future. We also now know that um, free minds and free bodies are basically bullshit. And we're basically establishing that, yeah, the Templars are effectively the good guys. Assuming that the whole psychic control the world and therefore save it is, um, is valid. And we also know that the Precursors were complete and utter morons. Completely and utterly inept. They had this technology. Okay. Okay, they can... They can digitize themselves. They can upload. They have the technology in any fashion to manipulate super hot plasma. They can. They got mega engineering. They have space flight. They have starships. And wait a minute, I mean, I wonder, it, it, could apples work on electronic intelligence and then cause it to come... Okay, so what you do is you just upload everyone, you've got three billion mines, you create the Borg. That's how you save yourself. Oh, but then we're different. Well, yeah, you evolved to survive in your environment. Good job. That's what you're supposed to do. And if ideals get in the way of that, you're a fucking moron. Now, they don't mean anything if you're dead. You can always put in a back door that says, you know what, at some point there should be a fault in the collective to bring back, you know, to basically destroy Vol and bring the apple into Eden. Yeah, Star Trek references abound. But. Well, I was I did not expect it to make sense. Um I'm not surprised that um that it's ended. Or not really surprised at how it's not even ended really. But hey we're done, you know? No more of these episodes. Oh, these must be like special. Oh no, these are testers. And I still, well, I mean, it's a very, very complex game. Of course, I'm gonna find stuff that they didn't. It's not their fault. I mean, 
I I understand from a technical viewpoint in a different industry how that can be. So yeah, I'm not gonna complain all the time really. I mean, let's face it, their bugs just caused Desmond to fall infinitely far. My, you know, if I were to, you know, bugs in aerospace make people die. Sometimes. Assassin's Creed brand, brand content director, brand marketing director. You people, I hate you people. Talent performance manager. What talent? Well, except for, uh, except for John Delancey. Yeah, so, that's the sound editing. How many people worked on this thing? Well, it could be quite a few, I mean... It could be a lot like a... Well, I mean, the production requirement is at least equivalent to a movie, if not more. Voice talents, French. Voice talents, Italian. Voice talents, German. Voice talents, Urdu. Dennis Schmidtfoss. I know what the, what the kind of beta looking thing means. Voice talents, Spanish. It'd be cool if there's like a Russian one. If there really would be an Urdu one, that would be cool. Okay, yeah, there's Russian. Kim Pekilovich. Japanese. There's only like, huh, there must be better. Motion capture, yep. You know what, um... If the beginning of this game wasn't so stupid, I'd almost be tempted to go through with some Japanese just to... Just to see what the Japanese voice acting is like. And Ty Shelton. No, I'm not. I can't say anything about that. Whistle, more music. Oh. Cello! Do you want this budgie to die? Play the cello! Plays and fiddles. Whistles and pipes. Orchestrators. Remote control productions. Localization. Well, yeah, for, I guess, coordinating all the Russian versions and whatnot. Additional recordings, Dune Sound. Mouse Power, GmbH. Translation, Caller. Schneefus! Schneefus? I don't know. More Mouse Power, and a quality check. More of that. Well, I mean, let's face it, the, the voice acting was generally very good. The sound quality was very good. Dutch and Nordic project manager. Beggar's Opera Polish. And Czech, Hungarian. It must be Hungarian. Ubisoft South Korea, of course the Koreans have to be involved. Traditional Chinese version. Or Is there a Chin Chinese localization of this? Oh, um, it might be in a different, slightly different version. I mean, I mean you don't, you want to, you would want to naturalize it, or naturalize it? Localize it everywhere. But you don't really want to put all of that in the game executable or else it will be huge! Research moderators. They did research for this. 
user research lab coordinator. I don't really want to know. Yep, video game with an IT department. And a technology group. Technology group graphic designer. Okay. Oh, well, maybe if it's for like making interfaces, but that was a different team. Oh well, whatever. This has been going for quite some time. Oh, face builder. Well, they, they made pretty good faces. Fire team. Oh, the guys doing the fire effects. Yeah, they weren't so good. Your team did a generally a good job, except for that Tesseract book. Oasis team. That might be some other tool. Uh, passenger concept. Real tree team. Oh, for the trees? Pipeline optimization. Pilot team. Alright. Theater team. Theater team. Flying technical director. Rendezvous platform team. Some of this makes less than no sense, but I'm sure in context it makes sense. So many names! Hell, the last credits I sat through in a movie theater weren't this long. Oh. Legal notice, well, I'm usually put the legal notices at the end, but nope, surprise! More people! Might as well name the five people on the planet, including me, that didn't work on it. Oh, you play. <sighs> hey! Once I get this done, I can uninstall you play. Piece of crap. South Kiev. Well, yeah, I guess it's for. You play Montreal. Boo! Bewerns. <sighs> yeah, we're still recording at sixty frames a second. And here's all the executives who really didn't have anything to do, literally had nothing to do with this game proper other than authorizing it. Good job. That's not me clapping. Ah. Okay, human resource. Okay, so one, they misspelled resource. Two, it's an interim director. Whoop them. Fucking do. Maybe it's how you. Okay, maybe that's how you spell resource in French. Because. They did it twice. Now, well, okay, yeah, human resources there is spelled correctly. So maybe it's a French spell. Yeah, I don't know. Publisher, Ubisoft Entertainment. Yeah. And again, we're going to. Eat the executive assistant to the CEO. What about the janitor? Does the janitor get any credit? No. But with all those smelly programmers, you know, at crunch time, having to give away, you know, give up a little bit of hygiene, without that janitor, things would have gotten pretty, well, even more rank than they did. Transversal projects manager. Productivity expert. Certification coordinator, age rating. So if we take out the blood and make it so you don't, you can't kill bunnies, or when you stab them, little hearts come out. I guess their hearts do come out anyway. <laughs> hey, well, you know, little rainbows and stuff. What's a G2W? Game to web, probably. Head of consumer and market knowledge. The true Opticon. <laughs> Message from Opticon. Here comes the fashion bomb. 
jump helpless. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway. David Fat, yo. All that in a bag of chips. Nah, I'm sorry. Not really. Who can Aragon? I used to, I worked with a guy in near Moscow called Aragon. But he was in France. Unless all these people are in France. I mean, quite a few of them very good way. Yeah, it was probably the Europe ones, so they were all French. The, U the US people. North America. That should be Canada. Public relations. Alex Money. Yeah. That's gotta pick up chicks. Or if he's gay, pick up dudes. Well, I guess there's... Dude isn't really as, I guess, diminutive slash insulting as chick. What would you... Like, what would you call a... What would be equivalent? Guy? No. Not my fellow. Chump? Well, I don't know. I think that chumps could... You can have female chumps. Chicks could be chumps. Yeah. I guess it would also have to be a vaguely sexualized term, too, wouldn't it? Cockbags? No. No, because at that point you've gone straight into the, you know, something that's truly bad rather than just, you know, a matter of opinion. You boy. So many people. After watching this scrolling so long, I bet I could look away and... Yeah, I'm looking at my dual monitor, and it's, you know, looking straight at it, and it's wanting to trend downwards. Production babies! Remarkably few of them. Powered by Adobe Flash. And DTS. And Digic. Dolby. Hi, roommate. Well, for the time being, yes, it is your name. Don't worry, your secrets are safe for the online audience. And plus, it's at the end of the credits. No one's gonna sit this far through. Hello, random internet people. Hello, random internet people. That was roommate. And that was apparently Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, wait. Final picture. <laughs> but wait, there's more! And now we can just watch him stagger up some stairs and pitch all this into the fire, you know, eliminate the evidence. Apparently the roommate thinks that he's hot. Kinda is. This is not really okay, there's only the log on the fire. He couldn't even get that right. Come on, at least have a little bit of continuity. You could put a little few rectangles in there. Oh, hello. Oh, now I just have control of the camera. Oh. Oh, that's your buddy's hatchet. The buddy you murdered! <laughs> Did everybody leave? Yeah, go ahead. No one's sitting this far through. If people hear the microwave in the background, that's their problem. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you for your consideration. <laughs> Well, everybody, in saving the world, he destroyed it. Wait. What? Oh, but now he's all healthy again. Hooray! Um. I 
I'm rolling with it. Wait a minute. Oh, right. Now I head out. So, you know what? Um... Bonus video, I guess. Battle of Trenton, New Jersey. Alright, well, we're just gonna move along. Loading forever. Why is there still a mission? What madness is this? Oh well, let's just get it over with. Let's finish this. Well, he's pretty spry for a guy with only one kidney. Chinchillas for everybody! Oh, is my mission to start a riot? No. Oh, okay, it's right here. What's this? Epilogue, evacuation day. And this is your reward for sitting through the credits, other than learning that I have a roommate who thinks Connor is hot. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I'm talking about you. Oh, okay, I'm still covered in blood. What madness. And we're still selling slaves. Woo, good job, Connor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, subtlety is not this game's uh, strong suit. He is hot. No, don't, don't be sorry. And is that it? Are we now over? Oh, no, apparently there's... <laughs> but wait! There's more! So, what? You're supposed to go around the world, and I'm sure in cutscenes it'll be covered in blood because he got stabbed through the kidney, and apparently this all happened immediately afterwards. Ugh. Oh, right, we have to see what happened to him. Oh, alright. I'm still putting this at the end of the credits. Or maybe it'll be by itself. Who knows? <sighs> epilogue, epilogue, epiloguing, epilogue. Da, 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 da. Yes. Fast travel. No, I. No, I don't want. It's right next to. Yes. Come on. Fast travel. Yes. Got to find out what happens to him. Oh, hello. If you're hungry, have extra. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. 
Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. What? Seeing it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but... Uh... <laughs> How could eh? this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parts and labor. Which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy, not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. Too... British. Okay. Thank you. Be safe. Yep, we're fast traveling everywhere. Mark Connor just kind of walks around the country in a daze and discovers that uh, he did not save the world. Because what is always is. That's life, my friend. Whoa, what? Alright, well, let's see what... Alright, we're up and running. This code is hacked to all hell. Nicely hacked, but hacked. The worm found three pivots before failing, so we've got those. What? You need to locate the remaining pivots on your own from inside. The three we've got will triangulate the rest. It's a sweet bit of hacking on my part, if I dare say. Each pivot detects the others in proximity. There should be 12 total. Everyone you find is supposed to produce a hex cipher, and that's what we're after. Once you find them all, we'll sequence the code, package the data, and Bob's your uncle. Now, don't putz around too much in revolutionary America. I know it's tempting. What? Huh? And we're not going to explain anything to you. Well... Right to the end, Ubisoft. Right to the end. At least you're consistently inconsistent. Huh? So I've planted two of our pivots. Not easy from my end, believe you me. But there they are. You can see those two activating a buried one. Kinda. If you drop the third one we have, the buried pivot's precise location should resolve. Then go gather the hex cipher, rinse, and repeat. If you get a chance... I'd love to see Franklin's glass harmonica in person. Just a side note. Have fun! What? What the... What am I doing here? Too bad she won't live. But then again, who does? Okay. That's it. Bye, guys.